and what do you think about the um, this being the week, here the weekend and participating in the weekend? Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I'm, I, I know Kenny and I'm a scooter and, you know, they, they asked me about it a couple weeks ago and I said I'd love to do it. Um, you know, anything for, you know, for a good cause, obviously. Yeah. I jumped with the opportunity to do it. I, obviously, I love Atlanta. I'm from the South. Right. Born and raised in North Carolina, so it's a short trip for me. You know, and I, like Raymond said, you know, I'm getting to see a lot of guys I, you know, I normally don't get to spend that much time with, so it's like, it's a nice time to kind of reconnect with everybody and just, you know, for, for, for a good cause. And so, what's, what are you expecting out of the gameplay? Is it going to be, are you going to have a little fun with it or are you going to try to actually get a little competitive out there? Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying, I don't, I don't want to get hurt. I yeah. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still a free agent right now, so I can't afford to even roll an ankle or anything. So I'm just, just having fun with it. And so, coming out of Duke, what was the biggest difference from Duke to the NBA? Um, Honestly, for me, it was. I, you know, I remember. I remember after we, after my first NBA game, we lost, and I, I was used to getting blown out after each loss and getting having the coach having four-hour meetings. And so we got in the locker room. It was like, all right, we got another one tomorrow. Like, I guess kind of the mentality in college. Like, the, the game, there's not as many games, and it doesn't really matter as much. But the athleticism and the physicality of the, the NBA is just on a different level. What has been your best experience in the NBA? Like the thing you say like you'll tell your grandkids about whether it's a guy you played against or just an experience you had uh, I'd have to say my first couple years getting to play with uh, Allen Iverson was oh, wow. my best experience because uh, I was a huge fan of him growing up and just having the opportunity to play with him uh, you know get to know him was probably to this point my best experience and he's still he's had a pretty good amount of game left too right what, like right, like when you played with him. Oh yeah, yeah, he was still yeah. leading the league in scoring. Yeah, there, there was months where he was averaging fifty. Yeah, he, 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 he was. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he's on a different level, man. He's the best offensive player I've ever seen. Wow, that, that's how. I come. So, what's something that people? Because you know, people are saying some people are trying to say he's not a Hall of Famer or whatever. Are, are they just missing the boat? Yeah, that's uh, he's he's. I mean, you know, pound for pound, he's, he's arguably you know the the best athlete to, to ever play. I mean, we're talking pound for pound. He's six six feet. You know, he's going out there, and he's averaging thirty plus a game. I mean, he, he he was unbelievable to be able to watch him. Was was an absolute honor. So no, you would never say the overrated thing people are trying to put out there. If anything, he's underrated. That's, wow. He's he's he is. One of the most spectacular athletes to, to play any sport, much less play basketball. Wow, that's strong, man. Yeah. And then for you, free agent, what, 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 what are you looking for? Oh, uh, you know, I, I, I was really hoping I was going to get to come, go back to Boston. You know, and there's still a chance that could happen. You know, they, they had some issues with it, you know being over the luxury tax. But, you know, there's still a handful of there's still a handful of teams that uh, that are that are going to sign big. So I, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm hoping to, to kind of get that figured out here in the next couple of weeks.